hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to look at how you can start your career into automation and ai space so this is most frequently asked question that i receive so i thought of creating a guide complete guide that you can follow so the agenda for this video is going to be very simple rpa you can call it a uh, robotic process automation it's a very uh, it's a technology of uh, more than a decade now rpa combined with ai technology it's called agentic process automation or apa or agentic automation some people refer it to agentic automation as well and some people get confused with agentic ai as well so agentic ai is a little bit different compared to agentic automation so or when it comes to automation it's all about process automation workflow automation these skill sets are quite in demand these days and this is the most frequently asked question that i get from either experienced professionals who want to transition into this field or from the early uh, professionals who are just starting out and thinking out figuring out which field to choose why you should listen to me why why you should believe me so i i carry around 14 years of experience into the industry and 5 years i have been working into this rpa and automation space and now from past 1 year i am exploring and working on gen ai and how to infuse ai into automation and also worked on certain pocs and projects which are related to apa agentic process automation uh, leading my team currently as a principal lead into ai and automation space so these are pretty much bit about my credentials and why you should listen to me or why i am the right guy to help you understand the road map on on starting with automation so now whether you are just starting or you want to transition into automation space or, or, or this agentic ai or agentic automation space so here are the core skills that help me and continue to stay relevant in today's la landscape the very first one which is programming fundamentals when we talk about programming fundamentals it basically the idea of looping condition conditional statements functions uh, error handling debugging and how to think how to criti how to critically think or how to solve a particular problem so all this should be clear so programming fundamentals you don't have to be very good at like full stack technologies like you have to be very good in front end back end but you should get a basic programming control structures you should know control structures what are the loops how conditions work how the how the flow of a program would be like you can pick any one of the language like python which is very very easy beginner friendly language and or javascript you can you can just start well i'm not saying that you should go and learn very uh, get expertise into javascript uh, you can get started at very basic level and understand the programming fundamentals with with respect to one of the language it can be python it can be javascript it can be vb.net anything whatever you feel like but you should know the programming fundamentals second one is you should be able to read business processes rather than just automating randomly to build meaningful automations you should know you should understand the actual pain points you should think in terms of efficiency quality and experience uh, you should know where were the actual human performing that particular task where actually they are they are uh, spending more effort so if you can automate that piece you can reduce man hours and ultimately that can result in benefits so automation is never the goal rather its impact is the shift in the mindset alone can 10x your value on any automation master apis apis is nothing but application programming interface so when i hear the term api api for me is a way to connect two different systems and there can be uh, there can be communication that can be established within the two systems right through apis so you should be familiar with reading api docs how how to read those documentation uh, what is the payload when it is a post method get method how to read the documentation and quickly consume those apis using tools like postman you can be building solid repeatable integrations these things you should get comfortable with api would be very handy very useful when when you build ai and automation workflows Uh, then coming to picking one of the enterprise automation platform in today's in today's world like ui path automation anywhere and power automate to me the, these three seems to be quite quite good when it comes to solving enterprise automation use cases so you should pick one of them and get started get expert get try to be expert in one of one of the platform and then eventually learn the other platforms as your secondary skill sets that's up to you whichever platform you find suitable and you find easy you can pick one of them 
and then finally you can expand your toolkit there are plenty of tools out there with that do workflow automation and along with ai n a 10 is a great tool great tool for low code node code applications and it's quite popular in the recent times it has a lot of supports api calling webhooks triggers so i'll be planning to cover a series on n a 10 have ocr technologies like google vision abby so they are they are very crucial when you are working with extracting information from pdfs or documents unstructured or structured documents you can also learn about them that they they would be quite handy with your automation journey in your automation journey and then we have ai frameworks and tools so we have langgen uh, we have autogen from microsoft copilot studio from uh, microsoft as well and and copilot studio also to build your ai agents low code tool for a low code platform to build your uh agents as well i have already created video on this for those who are interested into building autonomous agents and uh, workflows so these are few of the uh, areas where you can expand your skill sets and uh, you can learn these tools i have compiled few of the resources from where you can learn i'll be sharing those links in the description coming to uipath there are official resources you can follow academy uipath academy documentation a docs portal from uipath and blogs these are few of the channels it doesn't mean that these are the only channels um whatever i could know or i could remember i have uh, according to me i have just mentioned these channels but there are plenty of other channels as well whatever feels uh, whenever you do a search on youtube which our video you feel and it is making sense to you go ahead with that then you can just watch or just follow few of the udemy courses as well if you plan to learn in a structured path similarly for automation anywhere also i have compiled the list there's a pathfinder community docs portal uh, there's a, com a a community then these are the channels one of the channel automation feed is my channel you already know i have created a lot of automation anywhere videos and you can follow other youtube channels as well and same like udemy courses if you want to learn in a structured manner similarly i have also collated the list for power automate resources learn.microsoft.com and few youtube channels and the udemy course i'll provide all these links in the description along with that i'll share the slides as well now coming to that uh, ai tool sets so we have n10 uh, workflow automation tool so here there are official resources i have mentioned i have mentioned the blog and uh, and the youtube channels again the format is same i have compiled all the list in the similar format like where i mentioned the official resources then youtube channels and then udemy courses same for langchain and similarly for autogen so autogen is again a framework open source framework from microsoft to build multi agent and then uh, we have copilot studio copilot studio is a platform where you can build your ai agents in a low code no code way it's a platform that lets you spin up a agent in quickly like less than 5 minutes you can build your agent so these are few of the youtube channels i have uploaded a introductory video on microsoft copilot studio how to access copilot studio and how to get started with that all the links will be mentioned in the description of this video just to recap this is how you can start your career into automation when if you are looking to transition into this field or if you are just starting your career start with programming fundamentals read business processes learn about apis pick one of the enterprise automation platform and then expand your tool set with the tools like n10 and frameworks like langgen autogen and platforms like copilot studio so that's all guys you can connect with me on linkedin youtube and book one on one sessions if you if you want to connect with me one on for one on one sessions go ahead and book a session on topmed thank you so much if you like this video please share it with your friends give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video thank you so much